China is making waves in the global defense arena once again. J-35A, a cutting-edge stealth fighter, is poised to reshape the balance of air power in Asia and beyond. Designed for carrier operations and equipped with land-based technology, the J-35A signals China's ambitions to dominate the skies. But what makes this aircraft so unique, and how will it enhance China's air power on the world stage? Let's find out. At Airshow China, held at Zhuhai Airport starting November 12th, China has taken the wraps off its latest stealth fighter, the Shenyang J-35A, a land-based aircraft that had been under development for years. Before that, it was only glimpsed in unofficial and low-quality images, leaving many details shrouded in mystery. With this official reveal, the aviation world finally gets a clear look at the jet. The fighter is a medium-sized stealth fighter with a twin-engine layout, twin diverterless supersonic intakes, and a single ventral internal weapons bay. This new fighter is configured to meet modern combat demands. It adopts a conventional wing and tail design with hallmark stealth features, including edge alignment, Chineseies, serrated paneling, and a smooth external finish to minimize radar signature. The use of radar-absorbing materials is expected to be integral to its structure and surface applications during production. The dimensions and performance specs of the J-35A trace back to its predecessor, the FC-31, which reportedly measured 17.3 meters in length, 11.5 meters in wingspan, and had a maximum takeoff weight of 28 tons, with a combat radius of 1,200 kilometers. Advances in airframe materials and structural design further suggest improved performance over the FC-31. The original FC-31 prototypes initially relied on Russian RD-33 engines, later replaced by reverse-engineered Chinese WS-13E engines, and in some cases, improved WS-21 variants. The J-35A's target engine, however, is the WS-19, a modern power plant comparable to the USF-414 or EJ-200. Whether the WS-19 has been tested on the J-35A remains uncertain, as analysis of engine nozzles on prototypes offers inconclusive evidence. For now, it is likely that current prototypes are using WS-13E or WS-21 engines. In stealth and counter-stealth scenarios, this new fighter primary missions include establishing air superiority, neutralizing enemy 4th and 5th generation fighters, suppressing ground and surface-based air defenses, and intercepting hostile targets such as fighters, bombers, and cruise missiles. Against earlier generation aircraft, the J-35A operates beyond enemy detection, exploiting its stealth to achieve battlefield dominance. When engaging fifth generation adversaries, it leverages advanced formation tactics, situational awareness, and survivability to establish a closed loop kill chain, seizing the initiative in combat. It can also orchestrate battlefield networks, acting as a key node within a combat net system, enhancing the effectiveness of other elements and ensuring dominance through collaboration. But big questions remain here. What are the People's Liberation Army Air Force, PLAHF, specific plans for the J-35A? Before going to answer that question, don't forget to give us a like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any aviation news. Now let's continue. The development of the J-35A has been a long journey starting with the first FC-31 prototypes appearing in land-based form. Initially, there was speculation that beyond its export potential, a version of the fighter might also serve the People's Liberation Army Air Force as a lighter and more cost-effective complement to the heavier Chengdu J-20. If brought into service, it would position China as only the second nation after the US to operate two distinct stealth fighter jets a significant leap in its aviation capabilities. Let's talk a bit about the FC-31. It first flew in October 20th, 12, and made its public debut at Airshow China 2014 in Zhuhai. A significantly reworked version followed in 2016, showcasing major refinements. However, development on the land-based FC-31, also known as the J-31, seemed to slow afterward, hinting at a lack of official interest. Instead, focus shifted toward adapting the design for carrier operations as the J-35. By late 2022, the land-based version of the fighter for domestic use re-emerged. Clearer images of a prototype revealed key differences compared to the naval J-35, including a smaller wing surface area, similar to the land-based F-35A versus the larger wings of the carrier-based F-35C. The prototype also featured different landing gear. 
with a single nose wheel instead of the twin wheels used on the naval version. Notably, the catapult launch bar was removed, reflecting its land-based role. The prototype, believed to have flown around September 26, 2023, wore Air Force insignia, a service-style gray color scheme, and tail fin markings commemorating the PLAF's the 75 anniversary. Its larger, redesigned tail fins further distinguished it from the naval variant. It remains unclear whether this aircraft is a new prototype, a reworked earlier model, or the same one spotted in late 2022. Meanwhile, the PLA Navy's J-35 is clearly intended for its growing aircraft carrier fleet. Optimized for the advanced Fujin carrier, which features an electromagnetic catapult system, it's also expected to operate on earlier carriers like the Liaoning and Shenyang, which use ski jump ramps. For the PLAF, introducing this fighter alongside the J-20 could make strategic sense. While the J-20 is a heavy stealth fighter, the smaller, more affordable J-35A could replace older, medium-weight fighters like the Chengdu J-10, which is nearing the end of its development lifespan. This new stealth fighter would also complement the Shenyang J-16, the PLAAF's flanker-derived multi-role fighter, by filling the medium-weight segment of the force. Cost is another key factor. This new version is cheaper to produce and operate than the J-20, allowing it to be fielded in greater numbers to enhance combat mass a critical advantage in large-scale conflicts. Furthermore, producing the J-35A helps sustain Shenyang Aircraft Corporation's fighter production lines and positions the jet as a strong contender in the export market. Export potential has always been a central focus of the FC-31 J-35 program. The global market for medium-weight stealth fighters is growing, with examples like South Korea's KF-21, Borome, and Turkey's TF Khan leading the charge. However, the Chinese design has a major advantage. It's free from Western export restrictions. Beijing can sell the J-35A to countries barred from purchasing Western fighters, especially since the Korean and Turkish jets rely on U.S. licensed engines. If Pakistan, an early potential customer, commits to acquiring the J-35A, it could help offset development costs and reduce production expenses. A significant PLAF order would lower the price further, making the fighter even more competitive internationally. Offering the J-35A at an attractive price could allow China to carve a larger share of the high-end fighter market, advancing its global influence in military aviation. Turning back to the new photos of the Shenyang J-35A, it also reveals intriguing details about China's stealth fighter, offering clearer comparisons not just with its earlier versions like the J-35 and FC-31, but also with rival fifth-generation jets, most notably, the US-made F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. So now, let's address the big question. Is the J-35A a copy of US design? While there is no doubt that China has obtained classified data on a range of sensitive Western military programs, and the F-35 program in particular, it doesn't mean the jet was copied. In fact, China cannot copy the F-35. It is one of the world's most complex machines. It can emulate its overall design and knockoff components and certain technologies that it can reproduce and has the data to do so, but the idea that it is a direct copy is blatantly false and a common trope when it comes to comparing foreign military hardware with U.S. designs. Key differences highlight this. The J-35A has twin engines unlike the f 35 single turbofan, and it lacks the short takeoff and vertical landing Stovall, capability that shaped much of the F-35's design. As a result, the J-35A is sleeker and more slender, but this raises questions about its internal fuel capacity, range, and weapon storage compared to the F-35. Performance-wise, the similarities are only skin deep. Advanced systems like avionics, data fusion, and stealth coatings remain major differentiators. China's engine technology also lags behind the cutting-edge capabilities of the F-35. Notable features on the J-35A include an electro-optical targeting system beneath the nose, similar to the F-35's EOTS, and a wide-angle head-up display in the cockpit. A Lundberg lens is also visible under the fuselage, likely used to temporarily disable the jet's stealth properties when needed. Interestingly, the J-35A designation is now confirmed for the land-based version, while the carrier-based model is simply the J-35. Despite shared DNA with its predecessors, the J-35A's true capabilities, especially compared to the F-35, remain to be proven in real-world operations. The J-35A is designed with future combat in mind, emphasizing adaptability to new technologies, evolving threats, 
and shifting warfare paradigms. According to Wang Yongqing, chief expert at Shenyang Aircraft Design Institute, this fighter prioritizes information warfare, collaborative operations, and multi-domain combat. Serving as a tactical organizer on the regional battlefield, it integrates with existing assets, extending their value while acting as a crucial node in future combat systems. With its focus on lethality, survivability, and multi-role versatility, the J-35A is poised to be a cornerstone of China's future air combat capabilities. Its integration into the PLAAF or export markets signals a significant leap in Chinese aerospace innovation, offering both operational and industrial advantages in the global defense landscape. In conclusion, the J-35A represents a bold step forward for China's aviation ambitions. Designed to complement the J-20 and tailored for naval operations, it showcases China's growing expertise in stealth technology and fifth-generation fighter design. While comparisons to the US F-35 persist, the J-35A's unique features, such as its twin engine configuration and focus on regional battlefield integration, highlight its distinct identity and mission priorities. As China positions itself as a leader in military aviation, this new stealth fighter version stands to play a pivotal role in shaping the future of air power. Whether through strengthening the PLAAF, modernizing carrier fleets, or competing in the global export market, this jet is a testament to China's pursuit of cutting-edge innovation and strategic dominance in the skies. But what do you think about the J-35A? Can it truly rival the US F-35, or does it still have a long way to go? Will its export appeal reshape the global market for stealth fighters? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and see you in the next video.